Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today we are going to have some fun being up here, up at the production annex. We are going to be working like a little busy bees getting this area ready. So if you remember, this space is a brand new building that we are constructing that will connect all three structures up here at production. If you missed that, you don't know what I'm about, check out the video link above and you will get caught up to speed. Um, we are currently in the framing process and um, starting to get some siding, the OSB that you can see behind me on the walls. So today is the Monday after Christmas. It is a uh, balmy 27 degrees here in North Carolina. We just went through the, the really cold blast like so much of the country, right? Um, we did really well. A lot of people have asked how things went here. Uh, we got down to seven degrees one night, then it was like 11, and then this morning I think it was like 13 or 14. All of our winterizing worked really well. We didn't have any pipes to freeze, no irrigation froze. Um, I will say that we know of as of right now because we still haven't gotten out of freezing temperatures in the last three days. And I know that for some parts of the country, right, um, and even into Canada, you're all like, oh my gosh, Jenny, you know, seven degrees is nothing. But yeah, can I remind you that we live in North Carolina? We live in the Southeast of the United States. This is not normal for us. And so whenever you have um, some you know, anomaly in weather, you just have to prepare for it. So we did, we survived, we did just great. And so we're gonna take advantage of being dry and get some work done today. Um, so I'm gonna give you an update on what is happening and then just stay tuned because I'm going to show you what we get done today and then we'll come back and meet together at the end of the video and I'll just show you everything that we have gotten done so far today. We're hoping to get lots of good progress made. Since the last time we were here, Josh and the boys have gotten a ton of stuff done. So let me show you the update on all of that. If you hear noises, this is a construction site. So just know that we've got the saws going, we've got a torpedo heater going, trying to get some warmth in. Um, one of the big things since the last time we were here is that they got this wall framed in. So we have two walls, these are the end walls that are gonna look the exact same. All of this will be just a solid wall. Then here is gonna be the opening where you know equipment can come in, uh, deliveries, you know, trucks, all that kind of thing. Nice big huge opening. That is probably in a, a 10 and a half, 11 foot opening as far as the height because this is a 12 foot ceiling and you've got a couple boards in there. So that's probably a 10 foot opening right there. And then as far as the width, I would say maybe, maybe another 10, not quite sure on that one. But we're gonna have like some sliding doors here. So they've got all of that done. Um, and then what they're gonna do today, their main goal is on the other end, they're just now getting started. So you can see that that far end is not framed. So that is what they are gonna be working on today. Jerry and I are going to come in and open up this huge, nice big pallet of the OSB and start putting that on the outside of the walls. This OSB will attach directly to the, um, the studs. This is 7 sixteenths a, yeah, OSB. So OSB is just like a particle um, where they, it's really, really strong. And so you can see where they have lots of different pieces that are glued together. So it's incredibly strong. And so that will give the, the building structure. So we'll put the OSB all over where there's going to be siding. And on top of that, at a later date, we'll come back and put the weatherproof sheeting on that just keeps everything dry. Then on top of that, we'll put the finished um, siding on. So like the decorative siding will go on that as well. We have three windows that are going to go into this um, building and we have them set up right here. They are sideways. Um, so this way, nice big square windows that will give us lots of good light going in there and it will slide 
not up and down like maybe your house windows, but they're gonna slide side to side. So they are going to go in as well. We have a door opening right here and that door will go in there. So that will be just a, a man walk through door there. And then they did go ahead and have the little hallways from the buildings into the annex that is all framed. So you can see here on the side, we'll have, this will all be connected. All the buildings will be connected to each other. So a little hallway here, and then they went ahead and they have the roof line on as well. So it's gonna be very basic roof line. You can see that the board is slanted. So this will be the high end, and then it'll the roof will just slant down. That way, any kind of water will, will go through and, um, and just be nice and shed off really easy. So that way, when you're walking from one structure into the annex, you're not gonna have to go outside. And all of this will be climate controlled, so it'll be nice and easy. And they got all three of those hallways, for lack of a better word, done, and it just looks great. So let me show you all of that, what's going on, um, yeah. So you can see going into production one is done and then down there on production two where Chase is, that is done as well. So lots of framing going on. Jerry has run down to go get some equipment and then he and I are gonna get started getting this OSB on to the side of the building. So stay tuned for lots of fun. Um, hopefully when we come back with each other at the end of the day, there'll be a lot of the visible difference on the pro progress that we have made in this space today. friends so it is about five o'clock in the afternoon and we are about to call it quits got some really good work done today i think you can see behind me that jerry and i got that back wall completely covered in osb -wee, that was a uh, a job not hard but just because we have to go up and down the ladder with a lot of those and they're kind of heavy and awkward so we definitely got our upper body workout today for sure so um, let me just give you an update on what we got done today so 
first of all, uh, it is a nice little cool brisky day here so Jackson started a fire for us and I have kept it going all day with our little scrap woods so uh, we come up here and get get warm when we need to but yeah so this back wall has now been completely covered in the OSB everything is good to go there obviously when you put that OSB up it really starts to define the space and um, just makes it you know look like a building for sure nice thing about um, this osb that we got is that it has the lines on there so basically if you know which lines they are then that you know it'll line up with your studs so you don't have to know exactly where your studs are as far as like being able to see them if you know that your lines line up with your studs um, and we did so we were able to use it that way and obviously there was just two different pallets of OSB. This was stuff that we had used for the roof and then the stuff that we just got. Um, so that is why there is a color difference and why the different lines, um, same good product will have just, I think that this came from two different, different supply companies. One the top one came from Home Depot and I think this came from like the building supply store or something like that. So just two different companies. That is why there is a difference in color in the OSB. So got that done. And then Josh and the boys started working on getting OSB um, on the end walls. So you can see here, now we've got, this is the corner right here. Um, and so this is the wall that they had framed earlier. This is where right here on the side of the dry storage, just to give you a bit of perspective of where we are, um, that is the case here. They just went up so far because we're gonna have to do something, you know, and Jerry and I were using the, the taller ladders. So they just went up as far as they could. And then obviously we're gonna have to come back in, you know, and all of this whole area will be covered in OSB. So don't worry about that. It's just the, so <laughs> we were having to share the ladders and things. And so that's where they got today on that. They did get that back wall completely framed out for um, just like the one we just saw. So that's directly in front of us. So that is done. And now what they're doing is working on coming along and getting the OSB on the wall that is closest to um, the greenhouses and the dry storage. Just to give you a little bit of a perspective this way, um, so it's those, that little skinny, I think that's like a two foot, maybe two and a half feet between the building and the greenhouse structures. So there you go. So they're getting that on. Making sure that this first level of OSB is perfectly level. So that way, when we go the other courses up, we don't have to worry about leveling it. As long as they go straight on top of that, and sit flush with that, then those other ones are gonna be level. So that's why this bottom course is taking a little bit longer to get down is because they're having to make sure that it is perfectly level and um, <laughs> doing that groundwork in the beginning makes a, a big difference there in the end. Let's come on down here and I'll show you um, this bike wall that they got done, um, just everything, it really starts to, when you put the walls in, it really starts to define the space. And so just looks so nice. I think they're getting ready to wrap up too. Um, they're in the, in the heated greenhouse and they're taking a little break. Jerry turned the heat on in production number two. We had lunch in there today. Um, Megan made some cookies, so it's nice and toasty in there. But here we have that other wall nice and framed out. And you can see they did the same thing with the OSB here as well. So again, <laughs> they went up as far as they could without having to have the taller ladders. Um, so yeah, so we'll have to come up with some sort of um, scaffolding or safe way because this, especially this peak right here, uh, that's got some height to it and especially on this end over here at production too because this is the lower end of the whole space <sighs> but it feels good to be out here and get it done um, it was a quite a cool day I have on lots of different layers but I have stayed pretty warm and it, it warmed up I think to like 30 something today I don't know but yeah, we are doing good. So we're going to continue getting the OSB on and then we will do the wrap, like the house wrap on it. And then um, 
I assume, I don't know if we'll go ahead and get the siding on or if we're going to start like divide and conquer and do electrical and all that stuff. I don't know. I do know that Jerry got um, ordered the LED lights, the same ones that we use in the retail greenhouse. He ordered those same LED lights to come in here so that way we can have lots of light in here. Also is going to put them in the greenhouses and the dry storage because we don't have currently lights in there. So I think it was 18 lights in total that he got and so he will, those will go in here um, but we got to do insulation, electrical, you know, of course the ceiling, got to put the last two panels of the roof on. Um, yeah, lots of still good things to do uh, for sure. But I am covered in sawdust. I don't know if you can tell on my coat, absolutely covered. I think this one might have to go in the wash tonight. Uh, but yes, we are ready for a nice coffee and hot baths and a good supper because sun is going down, it's getting dark. Uh, Brenna is going to sleep really good tonight because she has been out here with us all day and is absolutely worn out. Next go round, of course, we will keep you updated. As always, thanks so much for joining the Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.